just uh, allow us to receive, allow us to uh, uh, take it down deep into our hearts, Father. And Lord, tonight we place everyone into your mighty hand. Let everything we are and everything we do, Lord, let it be only to glorify your mighty name. And we ask it tonight in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Praise God. You may be seated. I want to dismiss the Roe Rangers if there's any here or, or uh, any missionettes. Praise God. I want you to go with me tonight to the book of 2 Kings. 2 Kings. Hallelujah. You know, you know when, when, you're, when you're in the world and you need, you need something, how many know that most of the time you'll go, you'll go to uh, a bank or, or someone to help you or something? But let, let me say this to you tonight. The Lord is trying to get us to put our total faith. Now, now, now look up here at me for a moment. Not just because you know the word does it mean you have faith. Faith, listen to me, faith comes, faith comes by going through the fire. Faith comes by hearing the word and then the word is tested. The Bible says that Joseph Joseph received a dream from the Lord. God gave him a word. And the Bible says in the book of Psalms, it says, and the word that Joseph received was tested. He was, he was put in, in irons. His feet were shackled. He was put in a prison. He was sold as a slave. I mean, he, he was tested to see whether his faith was going to stand or not. How many know we need to have real faith? Amen. Look at your neighbor and tell them, we got to have real faith in God. Real faith. Amen. Real faith. <laughs> Praise God. Amen. Real, we got to have real faith in the Lord. Your faith is going to be tested. Amen. And I believe that uh, many of us are already experiencing that. I, 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 was, I was hearing a while back that that there, there are families even now that uh, are struggling, uh, listen to me, the struggle financially. And how many know that, that financial struggles brings a big strain on the family? And, and, and the number one breakup in homes is finances. Finances. And when you're living in a time, listen, to me, when you're living in a time like the time we're living in right now, amen, you, you got to have something coming in. Anybody home? You cannot afford, you cannot afford not to have something coming in. You got to have it. Amen. Are you with me tonight? You, you, you just got to have it. But, but I'm going to say something to you. Banks today, and I know Rona's not here, but if she was, I'd ask her. Banks today are not lending money. You, you go to a bank and they'll tell you no. You could have A1 credit and they'll turn you down. Are you with me? Yeah. Amen. We're, we're, we're in a time right now Amen, where, where you and I have got to have, I mean, we got to have real faith in God. I believe that God knows what he's doing. How many, how many believe that God knows what he's doing? You, you, know, you know that the Bible says, now, now this, this is what it gives us. Listen, let me tell you something. The devil operates, look, look up here, the devil operates on our senses. We, on our smell, our hearing, our seeing, our feeling, our touching, our, all that. He operates through that. Our emotions. He, the enemy is great at using all that. All right? Are you with me? He, I mean, we, we see things, man, and, 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 and we, we, we think, 
by the time you know it, we blow it up. All right, we imagine great things. But, but listen to me, all God gave us, all he gave us to believe in is this Bible. Right here. His word. And, and, and I know that, I know that, that in real life, Many individuals' word isn't worth two pennies. But I want to tell you something. The word of God, you can trust it. It's a faithful word. You see, everything God promised in his word, he'll stand by. He's a faithful God. He's never going to fail. He'll stand by his word completely. And now, now this is, this is the, the, the problem with us is that as human beings, we, we, we don't know how to distinguish between faith and reasoning. Most of us are trying to reason out things. We're trying to, we're trying to be logical about things. That's not faith. Faith isn't logic. Right. Uh, are you with me? You know, we're trying to be, we're trying to reason out things. We're trying to understand things. And listen to me, the more you dig into trying to understand things, the more discouraged you become. Faith is just simply believing God, what he said, and standing on it, regardless of what's going on. Okay, regardless of what's happening or, or what, what anybody says, okay? Uh, I mean, it's... Faith is powerful. Amen. And that's the only way God operates, is through faith. He doesn't operate, listen, he doesn't operate through logic. Now, now, when you first come to the Lord, when you first, first come to the Lord, he treats you different. See, because you don't know much. All right? You know, you say, man, I'm hungry. I wish I had a candy bar. All of a sudden, somebody comes by and gives you a candy bar. You know? And you say, wow. You know? Well, he's, he, he's leading. You, you don't understand that, but God's leading you to a place of trying to get you to unfold your faith. But faith that isn't tested will fail. Faith will always be tested. Faith that's tested will stand. Are you with me? You gotta pass, you gotta pass the test. Faith that's tested. And if you pass that test, you'll be blessed. Are, are you with me tonight? You will be blessed. And, and so God, God is trying to get us to see that, especially in the hour that you and I are are living in. We're living in some difficult times, very difficult times. Amen. Uh, I don't know how, how many of you your insurance has gone up. How many of you have your insurance gone up? Look at all these hands. Amen. So, uh, some people's insurance has, has gone up. Man, I, almost it's it's almost tripled in some people's cases. That's heavy duty, isn't it? Because, because my, my wife is a cancer survivor. Uh, they, they, they raised our, our, our insurance $400 more. But, but I'm so glad that we have a God that owns the cattle on a thousand hills. And, and, and all the silver and the gold belong to him. All right, are, are you here? Amen. Amen. God is good. All the time. Praise God. So I want you to go with me. I want you to go with me to the book of Second Kings, chapter four. Amen. Chapter four. Praise God. And we're going to read from verse 1 down. 
I mean, there's a, there's a, there's a crisis here. There's a need, uh, a, a powerful need here. And, 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 and she has to have God intervene for her. And, and look what it says here. Now, now the wife of a son of the prophet cried to Elisha, Your servant, my husband, is dead. And you know that your servant feared the Lord. Now, now imagine, she said, you know, you know, you know, he served you. He, he walked with you. And, 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 and you got to, you, you got to understand that, you know, she, she's, she's crying out to God actually for help. And look, look at this was the, this was the crisis that she's facing. She says, but the creditor has come. In other words, in those days, if you owed, if you owed money, Amen. They didn't repossess your well. They didn't repossess your chariot. They 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 took your kids. They took your sons or your daughters, and they made them slaves. They made them pay the debt for you. Anybody home? All right, and that, that's all she had left were, was these two, two sons. And, and look what the Bible says, the, the, but the creditor has come to take my two sons to be his slaves. She says, he's come and he's going to take them. He's going to take them away from me and I'm, I'm going to be left with nothing. I'm going to be left alone. And, 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 and actually, I, I believe that the two sons were the ones that were helping her. She was left without without a husband. And, and now, now the creditor's coming and he's going to take the, the very thing that, that, that God is using to help her. Let, let me say this to you. The enemy will always try to hit you where he knows it's going to hurt you. He's always going to, he, come on, are you with me tonight? He, he, he's always going to strike in areas that you, you hate to be struck at. You see, you, you can lose a car, but cars can be, be replaced. That's right, amen. Anybody home? So, 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 so I, I want you to understand that, 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 that there's, a, there's a crisis going on here, and, and there's probably crisis going on in this building right now, and sometimes we don't say anything, but there's crisis happening, and, and, and God, listen to me, God wants you to release your faith. He wants you to, to know that not just tonight, not just next week or this week, but listen to me, He wants you to know how to operate from this point on, no matter what the crisis is, he wants you to operate in faith. Are, are you with me? Don't, don't let your emotions and your feelings and, and your senses and your reasoning and, and, and all that stuff, don't let those things tear you up. Grab the word of God. Uh, are you with me tonight? Grab the word of God. R run. You know what she did? She, look what the Bible says. She cried to Elisha. Elisha's a type of God. She's a, he's a type of the Father. And she says he, she cried to him. You know, you, you and I need to learn where to go, and we need to learn how to grab the word and stand on the word, not just know what the word says, but learn how to stand on the word and not be moved from the word. Amen. Lord, if you're going to give him praise, give it to him. Amen. 
And, and, and I know, I know, listen to me, I know, I know we, we're supposed to help each other and all that, and, all, and, and I know that, and we need to help each other. I'm a believer in that. But, but, but listen to me, there's only so much anybody can do to each other. Amen. How, how many understand that? Okay, but, but, but I want to tell you something. God is powerful. There, he's got everything you need. Everything. Amen. So, so look at this. Here, here she, she's going to get her two sons taken away from her. Let's go on. Look at this. And Elisha, Elisha said to her. Now, now look at this. Elisha said to her. He comes and he gives her the word. Now, you got to understand, she did not have a Bible. The word of God came from the prophet. Anybody here? She had to believe that what that man was saying came from God. She had to believe that. All right. In our day, we have a Bible. We have the Word. Okay, we have this. We have everything that we need right here. God has never left us. I mean, He's given us everything we need to make it all the way through. Hallelujah. But but I want you to see this with me because because she had she, all she had was the Word of Elisha. There was no Bible. You have a Bible. Anybody home? She had to believe what he said. You and I have to believe. Listen, it's easy for you to say, I believe the word. But then when you start going through a, a crisis in your life, and we start going haywire and falling apart, that's showing us something else. We're not really believing. Amen. See, we're, we're not standing. Come on, are you with me tonight? I'm trying to help you. I'm trying to show you something. See, because I can encourage you. Oh, brother, you know, don't worry about it, man. Keep going and all that. And I love to do that. But listen, when, you, when you're alone and nobody's there to, what are you going to do? Right. Yeah. Amen. You have, got, you have got to take a hold of yourself. You, you're going to have to tell yourself, wait a minute. Greater is he that's in me than he that is in the world. And, and even though everything around you, everything around you, everything around you says different. Everything around you is shouting at you and saying different. Are you with me? You've got to stand by faith on what God said. Not on what your feelings are saying. Not on what your reasoning is saying, not on what your neighbor is saying, but you got to stand on what the Word of God has said. That's more real than anything else. Now look at this. Elisha said to her, what shall I do for you? He's asking her a question. And then he, he tells her this, tell me, what have you? Of sale value. What do you got? What do you got in your hands? What do you got in your life? You know, the majority of us, we come to God because we really don't got nothing. But listen to me. It's not that God is wanting to take from you. Listen to me. It's not that God is trying to pull things away from you. God is trying to, listen, to show you that out of nothing, he can make a lot. 
out of nothing. Out of nothing, he can bring everything you need. Remember the boy with a, two fi- with a few loaves of bread and a few fish? 5,000 men plus women and children? He fed them all. 